day long. Amen. What a story. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Amen. It is more than good to be present in the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for your families and your friends. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 through 30. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Never forget it. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped or after supper saying this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do he as often as he drank it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Ye do show or you, you, you proclaim beyond any shadow of a doubt. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. Amen. amen. We received amen in loving memory a note from Brother Linwood Stewart's family. Amen. Sending thanks to the shallow church family for your thoughts, your prayers, your words of comfort during the loss of uh, our father. Amen. Brother Stewart uh, is the father of our dear uh, sister uh, Nick with some, the wife of Dr. Nick with some, 
the mother of Nicole and we do pray much for the family as they continue to mend uh, and heal as a result of the homegoing of their loved one. Not only uh, their loved one, but for bereaving families all over the world. And uh, uh, there's a Them, uh, service, homegoing service, illustrated here in Fort Valley all the week long. So there are bereaving families. Amen. Some we were able to share with, some we were not. Uh, but God is everywhere. Yeah. We thank God for his presence in the lives of all those who experienced uh, death plus sickness and other events in the, their lives that brought about a, a sadness. God, a man, is still on the throne. We still pray that you will pray to the Almighty God, and we do know that in the fullness of time, a man, God, will make everything all right. Lord, bring peace into this house. And Lord, help us to truly understand what the Holy Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church a man. Notice with us from the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 9. Verses 1 through 9, without thought being drawn from verses 1 through 7. And saw still breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord. Went unto the high priest. And desired of him letters to the masters 
to the synagogue that if he found any of the way or any knowing Jesus, whether they be men or women, he might bring them bound or, or tied up yeah. unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near the masters. And suddenly there shone round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, So why persecuted thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thy persecuted. It is hard for thee to kick against the prayer. Yes, and he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go unto into the city and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Amen. Amen. And from the verses read, we led by the Spirit of the living God to preach today from this all important question Lord what to do think about it a while what to do What to do about this? Every issue that's going on in your life right now. What to do how must I deal with this it is my prayer that every soul in this house and Every person, wherever you are in the world, would consider this question. That is, ill. You want to be 
in the will of God. We pray, not my will, but thou will be done. If you really mean that. If you really want to be found yeah. in the will of God, yeah. All right. amen, then ask the question yeah. uh -huh. mm. from the bottom of your heart with your bow to mercy. What to do? With faith, trusting in the Lord, believing that he who Heareth will answer. And then as you receive the answer to your question, the next behavior is to obey. Nothing else matters. <coughs> Amen. Dear heart, if you're not going to obey, then nothing else you do is going to mean any worthwhile thing at all. For the Lord, if you love me, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, amen, then obey. That's right. amen. Obey. Uh, I'll change yes, everything else amen. we can do. Amen. All right, amen. Therefore, this is the question that every person that wants the blessings of the Lord upon their lives ought to ask. Yeah. Every person, what to do? Whether it, it has to do with salvation, it doesn't matter. Amen. 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 The subject yeah. of your behavior, yeah. ask the question. Amen. Amen. At the beginning of each map. Ask God, I mean, before you do anything else Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. about the matter, about the issue, mm. even if you think you know all of the details, still ask God what to do. Amen. The beginning mm -hmm. of each matter. Yeah. I mean, many issues are going to occur. They're going on now. Yep. That's right. Strange things, new things, right. yeah. tough things, yeah. Yeah. ugly things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
but none of them are too hard for God. As God, a man, dear heart, start your day and end your day with God. Oh, you're talking about seeing growth in your life. You're talking about going all of the way with Jesus. I say if you, if you start with the Lord, before anything, make no difference how important the event is. If you start with, if you put God first, I mean, if you leave God out of it, uh, then I said it, it ain't that important to you. Amen. If God is not in it, then you ought be trying to come out of it. Amen. Every child of God ought to want to be in the will of God. For when you are found in the will of God, the world can't do you no harm. I'm, I'm talking for real. Amen. Amen. Then the next issue. Uh, even when it comes time uh, for you to uh, concentrate your life to the Lord and for some to reconcentrate. Or to be revived again. About now, amen, you have discovered that this body, that the temple of God dwells in, becomes very tired and weak along the way. Amen? But thank God for renewal. Thank God for revival. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for permitting us to start all over again. When you fall down, you get back up. You don't just stay there and quit. Not after having received Jesus as your personal Savior, you get back up again. Amen. You, you don't try to fight uh, the fight as the old soldier did. Doesn't mean that you are a coward or don't know what to do. It means that you are uh, making uh, an effort to grow 
in the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
you go through whatever you are going through with, then it's all right. You ain't the only one. First, nor the last. But if it's God's will, it, it's okay. I'm telling you, it's, it, it's all right. It's going to be all right. But why? Amen. Why? Ask God. Number one, uh, because God knows more about what you are dealing with than anybody else anywhere in the world. I said, God knows. Do I have a witness? A man who will testify that you trusted God with that and you are not sorry that you did. I mean, show sure up. Well, to add to that, amen, God specializes. He specializes, amen, in all of your needs. There is not a need that you have that God is not a specialty. Oh, right. and, you, and, and, and I tell you what he said. He said, now, nah, uh, uh, because other folk been fooling you. Yeah. Other folk been claiming that they are gods. Oh, other folk been claiming that they can do this, that, and the other. Yeah. And because others Amen. When I come, I am going to show you who is the only potentate, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Amen. A long time ago, I want to know what that was. Amen, a poem tape. Amen, and all of the studies uh, said that uh, he's a person who specializes in everything or all things. And, 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 and do you know anybody else? Do you know anybody that claims that they specialize in everything? I'm talking about everything. Everything that can possibly be going on with you. God said, when I come, I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove it. And since ain't nobody else Claiming. Amen. But Jesus. I said, ain't nobody but the law. Can't nobody do you like the law. I mean, I, 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 I represent Jesus. I, I, I believe that in the fullness of time. He's, he's honest enough uh, 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 to say that there ain't no new thing under the sun. And that there is a time and a season to everything under many things are going to happen to you and in your life. But, but, but Jesus says under you, I will never forsaken you. And some of us have been hurt over and over and over and over and over and over again. 
more times than we can count by folk and things who say that they love us. You know. Amen. But when you uh, tune in to the Sunday school lesson, you're going to discover God asking the question, what wrong have I done to you? What wrong? That question uh, is for you too. Uh, uh, the reason why you are making uh, the choices that you are making, what wrong? I mean, why can't you put your trust in a true living God? Amen. He lives. Uh, they did crucify him. But he got up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They buried him. But he got up. Amen. He got up with all power in his hand. He controls it all. And he wants you to know that he will give you as much of his power that you can believe him for. Now, if that's true, and it is, then what's the issue? I mean, what are you waiting on? Why can't you put your trust in a man who cannot lie? In a man who loves you enough to give his only begotten son? Who loves you enough to give his life that you might have life and have life more abundantly. Without life, you can do nothing. And on the other hand, he gives you life abundantly. Oh, hallelujah. My God. He's a good God. Amen. 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 He, he knows everything. Amen. He loves you for real. And he wants to help you. Show up. Look with me at the gospel of John. Amen. Chapter 15. Praise God. John 15 uh, 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 verse 7. If in this context mean own condition that not forcing you, you don't have to, Amen. but if. Yeah. 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 Mm. E, abide in me. That's right. All right. All right. And abide here means live. Yeah. Stay, you're living, you're following what the word says you're going to ask. What to do? He's going to tell you. If you obey, that's living. Amen. In Him. If He abide in me and my words abide where? In you. He 
shall what? Ask. Ask. What he will. And it shall be done unto you. Now that's in prayer. Whatever kind of guarantee you want. Then all you do then is in your prayer, give him back his word. He said it in his word. I ain't the only one who heard it. I ain't the only one who believed it. Because see, you know what happened? As you obey him, you're living like Christ. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Christians yeah. live like right. Christ. Uh, all of the trash that was in your mind before you start following, you ain't going to ask God no junky question. Because you ain't junky no more. You ain't got no job on your mind anymore. Oh, I ain't studying about no job. You got Jesus on your mind. You got heaven on your mind, even in your view. Oh, hallelujah, my Lord. So the Lord trusts you as a practicing believer to ask what you will. <laughs> he ain't even trying to filter it out of me. So he know as a believer <laughs> your requests are going to be uh, stuff that you learned in Sunday school. Oh, thank you, Lord. He is a good God. Praise the Lord. From whom all blessings flow. Saul, uh, whose name will later change to Paul. Amen. Uh, had just received some letters from the high priest. Amen. Or uh, 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 allowing him to track down men Women, boys, and girls uh, who believe in Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I trust the word enough till yeah. I can I can go there. Yeah. They believe, yeah. and their behavior represents it. Yeah. Praise God, their belief. And that's what ought to happen to us. As practicing believers, uh, we ought to live like the Lord say live. But a short while after the crucifixion and the resurrection, we've already uh, agreed that he got up. Yeah. They did crucify. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He was buried yeah. in Joseph's uh -huh. tomb. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But he got up yeah. just like the Bible yeah. said he was. Yeah. You, you got to be strong yeah. on that. Yeah. I said, he got up, and if anybody uh, need proof, you won't be willing to say he lives in me. I said he 
said, he lives in me. And, and you know they're going to watch you. You claiming Jesus lives in you. Then you ought to be ashamed to act like the devil after saying Jesus lives in me. Amen. I'm a winner because Jesus lives in me. Not by might, nor uh, by power, but by his spirit, says the Lord. Amen. And because of his spirit living in believers, a group of them. Amen. Uh, followed Jesus teaching. Amen. They even started a movement. Based on the life, uh, the birth, the death, and the resurrection. And if you're going to call yourself Christians as they were called Christians first at Antioch. Amen. Because they were acting That's right. That's right. like Christ. Yeah. They were living like Christ, you all. Yeah. And if the church is going to be called Christian today, yeah. Yeah. then we ought That's practice right. what we preach yeah. and yeah. what we Teach. When you saw them, you saw people loving and caring for one another. That's what you saw. You saw uh, people breaking bread together. They weren't worried about where the next meal were coming from. They worked together and therefore uh, this whole matter uh, can be summarized uh, in the book of Philippians. Uh, chapter 4. And verse 9. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Sons up how a believer ought to act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. I'm talking about if you want uh, the goodness of God in your life. Verse 9. Those things which he have both what? Learn. Learn. You got to study. To show yourselves approved under God. A workman that need not to be ashamed but rightly Dividing the word of truth. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and the things you've learned yeah, yeah. and received yeah. and heard yeah. and seen in me, the very next word, do. Amen. Do what you learn. Amen. Do what you saw yeah. me do. Yeah. Do what you received. Yeah. 
from me. And the God of peace shall be with you. Oh God, if you don't get nothing else. Amen. If God be with you, he's worth more than the whole world against you. What else you trying to get is you got God with you. Do you know who God is? And God is with you? Then what in the world? Why would you be a rogue? Why would you be a stealer? Why would you be a hater? Uh, 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 if you got God on your side. Hallelujah. My Lord. And the religious leaders didn't know what to do. That's why they crucified him. Amen. Uh, but crucifying Jesus did not stop God uh, plan uh, to save mankind. Uh, just about that. I mean, every time they would crucify Christians, God will save some more. Your behavior will never stop the church. I said, God will save us. God will take a new body. Yeah, clean them up. Wash them up. Save their soul. Yeah. Call them into the vineyard. Go into the vineyard and work whatever is right. You ain't got to worry about your pay. Hey Amen. He's good for it. He owns it all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you to know that his truth is still marching on. Yes, it is. Every time a Sunday school teacher gives out a lesson, I said, his truth is marching on. Every time a preacher yeah. preach this word, yeah. his truth yeah. is marching You can't stop it. I don't care what the every time a Bible class teacher teaches his word, his truth yeah. is marching in his house right now his truth well, is enough uh, to bring you from where you are to where you ought to be hallelujah Dr. Nicholson amen Kim 119 Glory be to God. Amen. And you well know that it's not the sound that's going to matter here. But by faith, if you believe his word, amen, then God is still able, and as we sing, yeah. amen, uh, the words to he lives. And we sing it because we, we believe it in our hearts. Yeah. And we want you to know, yeah. amen, that Jesus 
is alive. Amen. Today, and he can save any of us. And he will if you but give yourselves to him. Amen. Let whosoever order whatever they want. But we believe his word and we believe the words of him 119 a mind he lives and as we sing our officers and other believers will await you here walk out trusting that he will take up residence in you I believe that he will. And there are some folk out there, amen, who used to be, amen, deep in sin, far from the peaceful show, but the same state moved in. And the things they used to do, they can't do them no more because he lives. Uh, and if you ask me, amen, ha, I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Amen. I'd say we're real Yeah. 
He lives within my heart. Thank you so very much. You may be seated. Amen.